Hello YouTube, it's your girl Keisha Laundry, and I'm back with another video. I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone for all your prayers and your well wishes regarding my nephew Rara. He is doing phenomenally better. I mean, the doctors, the staff, they're they're impressed on his progression. They're impressed on how how well he's doing. The bullet hit the side of his brain that affects his mobility, and um, that 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 kid is a fighter. That kid is a fighter. He's one special kid, but I really appreciate it. I didn't get a chance to comment back on my other videos because I've just been gone, gone, gone. I, I've been working, and then I took that trip back home, and then the day I got home, I still had to come to work that day, and I've just been gone ever since. So um, right now, I'm a little early for work, so I decided let me just go ahead and make a little five five minute video before I go in here and clock in. That's why it's late, um, dark out here because I work night shift, and you know I'm just uh, early. So, um, I, I also want to, I'm on here to talk about the whole basketball wives thing. Um, it touched me because I am dark skinned and I grew up as a dark skinned girl and a lot of people in the neighborhood and, and it started home with my family really calling me names and calling me black and all this and that. I mean, I have a friend, a good friend that every time I knocked on her door, her grandma would answer it and she would say, it's that black A Keisha Durham at the door. That's that's exactly how her grandma always, and, and then after a while she would say she didn't want me in her house and stuff. And I swear to God, I was a good kid. I was a good, I I was really a good kid. I didn't do anything ornery, you know. Um, I, I was I was just a basic kid in the neighborhood growing up, you know. But um, I, I got treated that way. I got lied on. I've been called black. I've been called ugly. I've been called the roach. You name it. All the names that they give the dark skinned girls, I've been called that. And um, I got my life when I seen when I seen OG hand Evelyn her ticket <laughs> to uh, to Goodbyeville. Goodbye, girl. Girl, bye. You know, you would be surprised. Like, okay, growing up from me at a, as an adolescent, always being called ugly, starting in the home. And then when I got outside, um, a few people would call me ugly, you know, here and there. But, um, I, of course, no one really wanted to date me like that because it was like, you're too black. You're, you're black. They always made it seem like darker skin was, was the wrong way to go. But um, as I got, as I matured, as I started coming into myself, like maybe... Um, late middle school going into high school and I seen whoa the guys that the girls want those guys is following me around these guys is following me home from the party these guys is seeing me and, and like what's up with you so that's where I started building my self esteem and I started looking like wait a minute you know because I would even have friends I, I um always kept a job or a little you know got some little money on the side whether it was babysitting or once I got my working papers so I always looked nice I always prided myself on you know coming outside I would get my hair done like once a week and I would have friends that literally I would come and I knew I looked good and they would try to tell me I looked the mess this didn't match with that so I, I i got what og was i got what og gets which i see og getting on and on from me and i want to speak on behalf of all the dark-skinned girls i don't care if y'all like it or not i just want to say thank you on behalf of all the dark-skinned girls for sticking up for og I, I just want to thank you for it because y'all went from last season to everybody being like oh she ugly oh her wigs ill she chasing this guy to you fast forward it to this season and everybody got her back and i want to point out evelyn's problem with cc i believe it's because that evelyn always chased the bag she liked those athletes and stuff and athletes did like the um the senorita she they did like the spanish girls and um pretty after a while they started liking them exotic looking girls so cc type is who took evelyn's bag CC type of chick is who who knock Evelyn's type the the type of girls you know knock those girls out the box. So that's Evelyn's problem with CC. Is CC is the one who took Evelyn's bag? <laughs> that's what I just think personally, because she didn't have a she had a problem with this girl soon as when she stepped on the scene. Now, usually Evelyn don't like how people dress. We've seen that every season. They talk about how people dress. They talk about her hair. But for this, Cece, Cece came uh, dress and fly. Cece, was, Cece brought her own beauty. So then what would the problem be? The problem will be is the type of guys that Evelyn is attracted to is no longer attracted to Evelyn. They're attracted to the Cece's of the world. 
That's the problem. That is the problem. And, uh... I mean, you would you would be surprised. You would be surprised. <laughs> you would be surprised. I mean, guys might they might act like uh, this is their type, but secretly, like they say, you're you're attracted to to your parents. You know, so these guys have dark skin moms. These these guys they see the strongness in darker skin. These men do. So of course they're going to be attracted to a darker skin woman. They might not want to bring her out in public on their arms. Some of them don't. But they are attracted to us. It, it, I mean, that's how I got my self-esteem. When I seen all oh, these guys that's pushing the tricked out BMWs, all oh, these guys that got these nice uh, Cadillacs that, that's all pimped out, they, they was attracted to me. I didn't have to chase them. They was coming after me. So you see, that's where it come in as um, Ocho Cinco, we retweeted something that OG put out there. Those guys chase us. So I just, I just want to put that out there. Your standard of beauty is not everybody's standard of beauty. It, it's not. And as far as Evelyn saying she's Afro-Latina, uh, come on. Ever since Amara La Negra with that fake behind Afro came out and, and everybody want to jump and be black. To make it, but trust me, soon as when Amara La Negra she gets to where she want to be, she gonna drop that whole that whole oh I'm black type thing because that's what they do. They use us to get hot, and then they leave us in the dust. Pink has done it. Christina Aguilera has done it. We watch Miley Cyrus do it. We, we've been getting we get, we get done like that, and and we make it easy for these people to come in our community. We we make it easy for these people to come in our community and um and pretend to be us. And then leave with and and then leave with everything we have. <laughs> we make it easy for them. But Evelyn, go ahead somewhere with that whole Afro Latina thing. All you have to do is say you New York and you get a pass. You from New York? That's how them New York girls talk. New York girls are feisty. They might not they might not be able to beat you all the time, but they gonna fight you. They don't argue that much. New Yorkers ain't them. You're not gonna get an argument out them girls. You you just gonna get some fists thrown. So that's where Evelyn get it from. You know, they jump first and think last. But I just wanted to add my two cents in on the um on the basketball wives thing. Uh, I, I feel like Shawnee is wrong because she have some dark skinned kids. And I noticed that when she do have her, when she feature her darker skinned son on the show, I see in the comments that people like, nobody want to see that boy. I don't know his name, but you know, I, I, I've read a few negative comments versus when she have Shaq's son, sons on there, the lighter skinned boys. I don't see comments like that. So, you know, um, colorism, it, it, you know, she's experiencing it in her own home, and I don't think she even realized it. Her her darker-skinned kids is going to go through that, and I don't even think she realized it. It don't matter that the dark-skinned son is Shawnee O'Neal's son. When he's pulled over, he's a black boy. If he get into some trouble, he's a black boy. The name is not going to mean nothing. Maybe afterwards it will, but it won't. It it won't mean nothing. But my time is ticking. Um, I need to get in here and hit this time clock. I want to thank everybody for their time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get up to four thousand subscribers. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but let's pray on it. I'm going to try to get 4,000 subscribers by the end of October. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got more videos coming. I've just been going through a lot. Um, well, not going through a lot, but, you know, mom stuff and, and life things. And, um, and yeah, and I don't always want to do my videos in the car because I started kind of get enjoy I started kind of enjoying doing myself up to do videos for you guys. Well, not even doing myself up, but putting on regular clothes, I guess I'm going to say. But um, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe, share, hit the like button. Um, all the dark-skinned girls, power to us. Come on, brown hands up, brown hands up. Hey, everybody have a good night. Love, peace, and prosperity.